Grand Turismo Sport refresh includes significantly more free autos, occasions, track formats. New autos incorporate the Lamborghini Aventador and new Alpine A110. Since its dispatch, Gran Turismo Sport has just been showing signs of improvement. A past refresh tended to some of our key grumblings by including more single-player exercises, and leaving more modes open when the servers are down or the web is out. More autos were additionally included, just for nothing. That pattern isn't halting either, as the most up-to-date refresh, 1.13 in case you're interested, includes 12 more autos, 2 new track designs and more single-player occasions. The choice of new autos is very great, as well. Enthusiasts of works of art will be satisfied to see the 1971 Mustang Mach 1, the 1970 Dodge Challenger, and the Great Alpine A110. Also, without precedent for Gran Turismo, the Dio Masso Pantera, an Italian-style supercar with Ford V8 control, shows up. Toyota gets more street autos as a moment-aged Turbo Mr. 2, and a third-aged Turbo Supra. New autos incorporate the Lamborghini Aventador the first V8-fueled Audi R8 and the new Alpine A110. There's an old-style open-wheel race auto in Subaru Isle of Man TTSDI race auto, the one with 550 drive, as well. The refresh includes another arrangement of occasions to finish in single player. Everyone is themed around American autos, super autos, or the new open-wheel race auto. A few previous race arrangement get extra occasions, as well. Likewise, Blue Moon Bay Speedway gets two new infield courses accessible for hustling in forward and switch setups, 